are you and what is your role at Turbine Kreuzberg? Hi, my name is Manuel. Um, I'm working as Solution Architect at Turbine Kreuzberg. We are a software development agency specialized in transactional platforms and business applications. My role is to like shape solutions for our uh, clients' complex challenges. And I'm working in the consulting department to bridge the gap between uh, business requirements and technical solutions. What is tech consulting and how do we do it at Turbine Kreuzberg? So tech consulting involves close collaboration with our client to understand the needs of our client and to provide uh, proper tech recommendations. Um, but it's not just offering about solutions, it's more like about crafting technological strategies that uh, align with our client, client goals uh, over the next few years so that really match the uh, business strategy. And for this, uh, we deep dive into the requirements of the client. We are checking trends, we are checking what are advancements, uh, technological advancements for our client business needs. And uh, we try to ensure also the future adaptability because business is moving. So tech has to be like flexible enough to move with our client's business. What are the biggest challenges businesses are facing in terms of defining how a system or application will meet the requirements and objectives of a business problem? So this is a multifaceted challenge. So most time our clients struggle to find the balance between immediate needs and uh, sustainable tech decisions. Uh, for this it's imminent to like craft a tech strategy which uh, aligns with the business goals and the business obje objectives and ensures uh, future growth and also future market demands. Okay, and what are the main points you focus on when designing solutions? So first I try to understand the business goals, um, the problems they have, the requirements they have, um, also like the requirements their customers and the market has. Um, then I would consider the scalability uh, like requirements. Uh, is their business growing or not? And also like the flexibility they need. Do they have to, are they in a, they in a fast paced market? Do they have to adapt very fast and everything? The next would be like to focus on the integration capabilities um, or also the integration requirements. Um, most cases you have big grown landscapes you have to integrate in. And uh, like to assure that the data really flows good. And this leads then to the next uh, point that would be the user experience. Um, this relies on all factors I mentioned earlier, um, plus on top, like having some nice things, user attracts. And this then would lead to like, uh, yeah, leverage appropriate technologies that can like uh, cover all these requirements and really building a good solution. What key factors should organizations consider when deciding whether to build or buy? So also these are multiple factors. So one is time to market and the cost for a project or the budget they have, um, but also the expertise which they can provide or have to buy from partners and also um, the sustainability of that solution. So will it last for longer or is it as said earlier only to like solve immediate needs? Building offers a um, lot of possibilities to customize and gives you a lot of control over your system and also in that sense you have flexibility in most times with it. Um, but it's also very resource intensive. So it takes long, you need a lot of time, you need a lot of budget and uh, so there's one side. The other side is like if you're buying software, um, this really offers you speed, so fast time to market in the most cases, um, but it always also might lack uh, customization possibilities and also you really rely on the roadmap of the vendor you bought the solution from. Um, and maybe after a few years this will not fit your, your requirements anymore or your appearing requirements anymore. And uh, often this then leads to really cost intensive replatforming which like eating a lot of resources and money and take you a year or something and you are getting behind of your competition. So it's not build or buy, it's both. 
It's, it depends, I would say, it depends. It depends on the size of the project, on the amount of requirements you have. I mean, if you're only having like a very simple B2C online shop selling shampoo, maybe it might be enough to have a Shopify shop. But uh, if you are in really complex B2B business processes, then uh, you have different requirements. And you mostly, and even if they pretend to some systems, Mostly there will not be that one system that like solves all your problems and requirements. What emerging technologies do you see having the most significant impact on businesses in the next five years and how should organizations prepare for their adoption? Definitely AI and IoT will have the most impact on how business operate. I mean it's a big trend currently but still everything we are in digital space and everything is about data and it's about collecting data and it's about like making value out of data and that's where IoT and AI comes in. So you need a basis to be able to do this and this is a real proper solid um, data stack. So it's all about like capturing data and processing data and then making value out of data. Um, about this whole data topic, it's not only relevant for emerging use case, it's also re very relevant today. So if you're thinking about companies that are having a big grown landscape of systems that all take a role in, in their processes, they need to be connected very well. And in the most cases, this uh, connections are also like legacy and it's connections from A to B to C to D and it's a mess. Sometimes when you think about uh, like doing a project now in that environment, this has a lot of risk and it takes very long to really uh, launch it then later. And uh, like con have control over your data really accelerate the time to market of new projects. It reduces risks for new projects. It enhances your agility to like react on new market demands and things like that to be prepared for everything what is coming. So concentrate on your data and how you control your data and then it will be good. Das ist alles Spaß. Und dauert viel zu, und dauert viel zu lange, ey. Voll sperrig, Alter. Ich wollte ein Beispiel einfließen lassen. Ich glaube, ich lasse das mit dem Beispiel. Aber nee.